Good afternoon. I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. I'm Larry Clayman, the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch, and I come to you right after New Year's to tell you what Freedom Watch is going to be doing in part in the new year. We're going to do a lot of really good things, a lot of things to restore this country to greatness. Our country has a second lease on life, and we at Freedom Watch are going to make sure that the vision of our founding fathers, that freedom that was created in and about July 4th, 1776 comes to fruition and comes back to this country. Now one of the things we're going to be doing is we're having a liberal media strike force. Is that the liberal media, and I don't really use the word liberal because in Europe that means conservative and in Canada it means conservative. I'm talking about the leftist media. Americans think of it as liberal. Has tried to destroy this country. They want to take this country and socialize it. They want to squeeze God out of every aspect of our society. They want to further radical agendas of feminists, of radical blacks, of radical pro-illegal immigration groups. This is their desire because if they destroy this country, and it's being financed in large part by George Soros, that self-hating Jew who collaborated with Nazis, and I'm Jewish myself, I'm a Jewish Christian, so I'm not knocking Jewish people, but he is a traitor to every cause that exists, and we've sued him in Dallas, Texas, with regard to um, inciting violence and financing violence against police officers. You can see our case at freedomwatch.usa.org. I want to get to the point here, though, because sometimes people are confused. People understand that the media, historically, is to report both sides of an issue. But we have a commentator who was at Fox News by the name of Megyn Kelly, who, while she pretended to be a conservative, presented, pretended to be libertarian, was really a leftist in wolf's clothing. And today she has moved from Fox News to NBC, which is the most left-leaning network in all of the United States. This is the entity which owns MSNBC. It's the entity which at every step of the way has tried to destroy conservatives, and most notably, most lately, Donald Trump. And it tells you what you're dealing with. So I wanted to bring this to your attention because I'm watching television this morning and I see the people at Fox News congratulating Megyn Kelly that she's moving to NBC. Uh, that's fine, that was her colleague, and they mean well. But the reality is this, good riddance to Megyn Kelly at Fox News. You are now with your own people, you're with the left, and I just wanted to point out to the American people, don't be fooled when you see commentators on TV that pretend to be conservative, that pretend to have the vision of our founding fathers but instead of pursuing another agenda. So she is now with the people she should be with, and when you see her on television, remember that she always was a leftist, and that's why she tried to take Trump down, because that's what was in her heart. We will oppose this leftist media at every step of the way. There is a First Amendment right to say what you wish, but there's also a First Amendment right to bring lawsuits when you falsify and mislead the American people. I'm not saying that Megyn Kelly did that, but I'm saying she slanted everything. We here at Freedom Watch wish you a happy and prosperous 2017. We are here for you. We're in effect, we're a foundation, but I'm a lawyer, and I will fight for you in the courts and elsewhere to make sure that we restore the vision of the Founding Fathers. Go to our website at freedomwatchusa.org. Support us. We are your voice, and we are in effect your law firm.